you're interviewing a student that we can't share a face with you because of where the student is from. So let me ask about what pseudonym we're going to use for you. Nina. Nina. Yeah. Okay, Nina. So um, Nina, where are you from? I come from China. Okay. And you are in what program at IS? Uh, Master's in Education, Emphasize TESOL. Okay, so Master's in Education, Emphasis in Teaching English as a Second yeah. Language. Okay, very good. Nina, as um, I was talking with you, I found out that you have a very interesting story. Uh, you were in a college in China. You were not a believer in anything. Mm -hmm. Your family is essentially Buddhist, mm -hmm. uh, one brother and parents. Mm -hmm. And something led you to come to know Jesus. So tell me a little bit about that story of how you came to know Jesus. Uh, when I was in college, and uh, I really loved English, and I really want to learn English, and uh, because of my major, we don't have any courses about foreign courses, so mm -hmm. we I have to learn from other teachers. So I dropped my courses and to attend his courses, and uh, little by little, he began to notice me, and uh, he introduced Jesus to my life, and uh, I began to attend meetings in school and uh, to. Uh, read the Bible, listen to the stories about the Bible. That's how the story begins. Okay, so you were in classes and you wanted to learn English and you spotted a teacher from? America. From America. And so it was an American who was there in China teaching English in the college. And did they know that he was a Christian? You mean the college? Yes. At, at the first, I think our school, they did know that. Okay. But the government, they didn't know. The government didn't know. Yeah. So the college was not concerned about it enough that they went ahead and hired him, but the government didn't know. And of course, uh, as he's teaching in a college in China, he's not allowed to share his faith, right? Yeah. That's the expectation. Mm -hmm. But then when you wandered into his class and you wanted to learn English from him, he began to uh, notice your participation and get acquainted with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And um, tell me about the things that he did in building friendship with his students. What did he do to build relationship with his students? Wow, actually, he was very friendly to the students. Mm -hmm. And no matter uh, what kind of difficulties the students have, and they will just uh, help them in money, in material things, and everything. And they will just make up lessons for them. All the students in our college love them, really love them. Okay. And um, we let's share his first name, but not his last name, since we're trying to protect your ability for choices for the future. But what was his first name, this teacher from America? Jeffrey. Jeffrey. And Jeffrey became family to you, right? Yeah. He and his wife, who were there? Norma. Oh, okay. And her name was Norma. Yeah. Okay, so Jeffrey and Norma became like parents to you. Yeah. Now, um, you were not a believer at that time. You were not a believer in Jesus. And here is an Adventist couple who is being very friendly with you. Mm -hmm. Tell me about how you became a Christian. Uh, actually, at the beginning, I didn't believe anything about Jesus. Mm -hmm. and, but one thing changed my mind. I made a big mistake in college, oh. and uh, because of that mistake, I m might be punished by our school, and I will be have no chance. I have, uh, have I have no chance to get a scholarship or other things, and I almost uh, committed suicide. So tell me about what that big mistake was that you made, w which threatened your scholarship and your continuation in college. Uh, our campus, they didn't allow us to cook in dormitory, but mm -hmm. I did that. Okay. Did you know about the rule? <laughs> I knew. You knew. Okay. I knew. You knew and you were caught cooking in the dorm. Yeah. And it was, they were saying that they would take away your scholarships and uh, you would not be able to continue in mm -hmm. college. So tell me, how did that affect you and what did you do? And I was desperate at that moment. Mm -hmm. And I went to their home. They prayed with me and they told me that God knows that what you're doing right now and they are not going to punish of you because you cooked and uh, uh, you are a very good student and God will protect you. Don't worry, just believe in God. They prayed with me and the next day, nobody looked for me. 
nothing happened. Nothing happened at yeah. all. So you had been feeling suicidal at the loss of your opportunity, and they prayed with you. Yeah. And the next day, nothing happened. Yeah. There was no discipline. Nothing. So, they didn't even know me. Interesting. So tell me what happened from there. From that moment, I really believe that wow, God is real,、mm -hmm. and God is really near me and protecting me.、Mm -hmm. And、uh, from that moment, I began to have a very positive attitude to learn Bible and to pray, really pray, and how to speak with God. Something. Like so、that. it was in that moment when. Absolutely, nothing happened after you had been severely threatened.、Mm. That you believed that there is a God, and then you started to get to know God. Yeah. Now you、um, explain to me that Jeffrey and Norma have a very special meaning in your life. Tell me a little bit about what happened as you continued your relationship with them. They became. They became my spiritual parents. Okay, and and how did that? What did they do that that seemed like they were your spiritual parents?、Uh, they supported me when I was in college about my living expense, and I really I did something for them as well. And、um, basically, they lead me and guide me in my life,、mm -hmm. no matter which kind of part in my life, my study, my relationship with others, and my faith with God. They lead me and guide me. So they really became parents to、mm -hmm. you. Did you、mm -hmm. live with them? I lived them with about two years. Two years. Yeah. So they were discipling you during all、yeah. that time, yeah. helping you to become a disciple. Yeah. Yeah. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. And so now you're here at IS studying.、Um, your Christianity continues to grow. It's a walk with God.、Uh, tell me about what you plan to do in the long term with your degree. What are you thinking of? Uh, I want to be a teacher in college. Okay, so following in your spiritual father's footsteps. Yeah, very good. Um, and uh, also, tell me about how you are experiencing training and experience in leadership here at IS.、Uh, actually, I have been only here for almost、uh, a half year. I haven't experienced so much, but I can. See from other peoples that they are doing really good job to、uh, lead us to help others, and、uh, we can do just a little bit to help others. And they just、uh, show us how to do that, and、uh, what should we do? How can we do? Where we are going to do? Okay, so your life has taken a very unexpected turn. Do you think you'll return to China? Maybe or maybe, maybe. not. Okay, <laughs> tell me a little about the situation there now that makes you say maybe.、Uh, actually, the government right now they shut down. Basically, I know they shut down some churches, even、mm -hmm. the Sunday churches in China, and、uh, they doesn't allow. They don't allow children go to church or do any worship things, and no Bible, no meetings, nothing at all. Okay. So they have a concern about、uh, in the government protecting、um, their philosophies in the country,、mm -hmm. but that makes it、uh, less of a fit for、mm -hmm. you, and you're having to consider about、mm -hmm. your future.、Mm -hmm. Okay, okay.、Um, one last question: How did your family of origin, your biological family,、uh, what was their response to you becoming a Christian? I am insane. They would say, they will say, I am insane. They'll say you're insane. Yeah. Really. Yeah. So,、uh, they think that being a Christian means insanity. Yeah.、Uh, the God belongs to Westerners, not Chinese. Westerners. Yeah. Okay. So they'll feel like you gave up your entire culture and identity、yeah. to chase after something that's not true. Yeah. Then your spiritual parents mean a lot more to you, even because of that situation. Yeah. Well, God bless you, Nina. As you are continuing to follow His leading, we're really glad you're here at IS. Thank you so much.